You know so well the ways of holiness and love. Teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity and to the respectful and loving and change. Since you journey with us on the path of each other, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims your charity is only short. Turn your merciful and peace towards us. Draw us into your presence. Shall our hearts with your kindness. Lead us into the light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But at each minute to get us further into the depths of the U.S. ministry, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by their light of divine union, will see all things in the eternal love of the Lord. Come into the Lord's presence. 
peasants singing for joy. May our Lord console your hearts and strengthen them. O Lord, avenging God, avenging God, appear. Judge of the earth, arise. Give the proud what they deserve. How long, O Lord, shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster with arrogant speech. The evildoers boast to each other. They crush your people, Lord. They afflict the ones you have chosen. They kill the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless child. And they say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob pays no heed. Mark this most senseless of people. Fools, when will you understand? Can he who made the ear not hear? Can he who formed the eye not see? Will he who trains nations not punish? Will he who teaches men not have knowledge? The Lord knows the thoughts of men. He knows they are no more than a breath. Happy the man whom you teach, O Lord, whom you train by means of your law. To him you give peace in evil days, while the pit is being dug for the wicked. The Lord will not abandon his people nor forsake those who are his own. For judgment shall again be just, and all true hearts shall uphold it. Who will stand up for me against the wicked? Who will defend me from those who do evil? If the Lord were not to help me, I would soon go down into the silence. When I think I have lost my foothold, your mercy, Lord, holds me up. When cares increase in my heart, your consolation calms my soul. Can judges who do evil be your friends? They do injustice under cover of law. They attack the life of the just and condemn innocent blood. As for me, the Lord will be a stronghold. My God will be the rock where I take refuge. He will repay them for their wickedness, destroy them for their evil deeds. The Lord our God will destroy them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. May our Lord console your hearts and strengthen them. for all time those who are sanctified. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I walk in the way of perfection. 
O then, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is big. I will hate the ways of the crooked, they shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away, the wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret, I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart, I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land. Uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. The Jerusalem above is free, and she is our mother. Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exult, exult with her, all you who are mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck holy on the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breast. Oh, thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms <coughs> and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Jerusalem above is free, and she is our mother. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. The Lord is king, the peoples tremble. He is thrown on the cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. 
He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To that he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them, for then you were God who forgives. Yet you punish all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of His Christ. From a letter to the Romans. The sufferings of the present are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed in us. Indeed, the whole created world eagerly awaits the revelation of the sons of God. Creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but by him who once subjected it, yet not without hope, because the world itself will be freed from its slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. from the hands of our enemies. We to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation, 
by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Dixit autem Dominus Ero, redequo debet. Procidens autem servus ire, rogava Deum dicens, patientia mave in me, et omnia redam tibi. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the bishop, St. Robert Bellarmine, with wonderful learning and virtue, to vindicate the faith of your church, grant through his intercession that in, the, that in the integrity of that same faith, your people may always find joy. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one <coughs> God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church. We reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the Word, eternal fruit of His bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon His heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, Thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the honor of the wounded heart of the Agapitos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit of Mary, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Lord.